Welcome back to our chemistry channel. In this video, we'll explore the various ways organic compounds are classified. So, let's get started. Before going to discussing classification, let's first understand what organic compounds are. Organic compounds are carbon-based compounds. They are hydrocarbons, and their derivatives. Hydrocarbons are the compounds of carbon and hydrogen. We take an example of hydrocarbon, that is methane found in natural gas containing both carbon and hydrogen elements. Now, what is meant by derivatives of organic compounds? The compounds that are derived from hydrocarbons by replacing one of hydrogens with any other atom. So the derivative of methane formed by replacing hydrogen with a chlorine atom, is known as chloromethane. So an organic compound may be hydrocarbon or its derivative. All the known organic compounds have been broadly divided into two categories, depending upon their carbon skeleton. These are open chain or acyclic compounds, closed chain or cyclic compounds. Open chain compounds are those in which the terminal carbon atoms are not joined with each other. In this way, they form a long chain of carbon atoms. These chains may be either straight or branched. For example, straight chain compounds are those in which carbon atoms link with each other through covalent bonds, and forming a straight chain while branch chain compounds are those, in which there is a branch along a straight chain. Open chain compounds are also called aliphatic compounds. Now what are closed chain, or cyclic compounds? Closed chain or cyclic compounds are those, in which the carbon atoms, at the end of the chain are not free. They are linked to form a ring or cyclic structure, that's why they are classified as, cyclic compounds. They are further divided into two classes. Homocyclic compounds, and heterocyclic compounds. Homo means the same. These compounds contain rings, that are made up of same kind of atoms, like carbon atoms. These are further divided into two classes. Aromatic compounds, and alicyclic compounds. Aromatic compounds are also called benzenoid compounds, because they contain at least one benzene ring in their molecule, that is made up of six carbon atoms, with three alternating double and single bonds. Alicyclic compounds are non-benzenoid compounds because they don't have benzene ring in their structure. On the other hand, hetero means different and such type of compounds contain rings that are made up of different kind of atoms. Like in this compound, the sulfur is present with carbon atoms to make a cyclic structure. Such types of compounds are known as heterocyclic. Let me show you a few examples to illustrate different classes of organic compounds. Here is an example of n-pentane. This compound has an open chain structure, because carbon ends are free. There is no branch attached to the carbon chain, that's why this compound is straight chained organic compound. We take another example, it also has an open chain structure, but a group of atoms, CH3 is attached to the main chain, and forms a branch on it. So this compound is branch chain, organic compound. Here, is another example, of cyclopropane, this compound has closed chain structure, because carbon ends are not free. All the atoms that form the ring, are same, so this compound is homocyclic organic compound. This cyclic structure is not the same, as that of benzene ring, so that's why this is a type of a lycyclic compound. Another compound is pyridine, which is a closed chain organic compound. It is heterocyclic because atoms forming ring are not the same. The nitrogen is present with other carbon atoms, to form a ring. The cyclic structure of pyridine, is similar to that of a benzene ring, with alternate, single and double bond, so this is a type of aromatic compound. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for, more content like this.